Welcome to Harush's 40 Favorite Things featuring Miss Erica Jane, the pretty mess if you nasty. <laughs> She is a pop star, if you didn't know. So I'm gonna make her do my corny ass jingle with me. <laughs> oh my god, what do you mean corny ass? What I don't. Know I have a jingle. Get the <laughs> what did I get myself into? What is this? I was like, All Erica, right. come on my channel. It'll be good. It'll be fun. We'll I have shots. never done. You know, I've never done a YouTube video. You haven't? No, this is my very first time. So if I feel I'm so awkward. no, but if I'm awkward, I apologize to everyone no, watching guys, because I have no idea person, what's going on. This woman, I've learned so much from you. You are so intelligent. You are so funny you have such a great heart and on top of it Thank she's you. just like you know if she f with you she'll ride for you till the end I will very loyal and very honest person and I love women like that and you are a girl's girl if you yeah like the girl if I like you yeah it's if 100% no shade, no tea yeah. going on she she got your back for I life. do and if not eat a dick yeah <laughs> and not diseased a good one, one. <laughs> not a good one a diseased curved dinosaur <laughs> You guys, okay. this is going to be a very X-rated Hiroshi. <laughs> but you know how I felt when I was coming over? I was like, I don't need to be anything other than myself with you. Yeah. And it doesn't like, it's natural. Yeah. Everything goes on this channel, but it's a positive channel. No shade or I back on you hoes. You do. Mm -hmm. You know, you really do. You really get after it. When I'm bored on a good day. Yeah. Uh, yeah right? I and see you, have you going to, after so Sometimes. What's I, your best read? I don't know. I, I you have good I, ones though. I mean, but like, it's I, like the one word you go. You know, mine are usually brief, but I have to be in the mood for it. Yeah. It's same. not something that you can stay in constantly. You have constantly. to be in a petty level. I have level. to be in a petty level. Yeah, I have to be at a very petty level and then I can clap back. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I it just, man, that for shit the birds. is just, yeah. It's time consuming for nothing. The last time I clapped back was here on YouTube. And yes, this bitch, I'm talking to you. You can make fake accounts oh. and you comment down oh. below. And she makes random accounts and then like, we'll like talk shit. What did she say last time, Sydney? On which video? <laughs> oh, she, she's a real fan, huh? Yeah, she is. If you she's, got time to, you know, talk shit, you're a fan, fan bitch. That's like, um, you know. She was saying something like, she was just like, how does anyone call this girl real when she does not own up to any of her surgeries? Mind you, I was like, not you looking dumb and not watching all my videos prior to I've never to known you not to open, I know. own up to everything. I know. And so I was just like, not you not watching all my videos on commenting and embarrassing yourself and she's like just block me already and I was like why would I why would I you? bother you're giving me conversion thank you baby. Right, exactly and that's she what got people so don't, mad <laughs> don't realize I'm like please keep talking because actually it's good for me hello my, my friends, friends my, my little YouTube, YouTube friends. friends yay is that it <laughs> yeah. okay all right Fuck. good you all got right it down. well she was Roxy on a Broadway Beatrice I was so I was she I was. was and I she was, was like all that jazz. Ooh. My babes are getting chills because the bitch from Beverly Hills is Roxy. Cheers to you. Oh, wait, you know what? Thanks. I was so proud of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate very that. Very proud of Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys imagine singing live, dancing, hair and makeup, looking good all Eight at the same shows time? shows a week. No lip singing. No. Singing. No, so that meant that some nights you were good and some nights you weren't. And some nights you hit the notes and some nights it was just like, you know what? One thing I don't think people understand is I've worked with a lot of celebrities on tour and like a lot of singers. I've been blessed in my career, you have. her being one of them. And when they have shows back to back to back to back to back and they're actually singing live, you strain your voice. Yeah. And then there's like days you can't talk, no? Well, there's also no days to recover when mm -hmm. you're on a, on a Broadway schedule like that where you're doing eight shows a week and you have two on Saturday, two on Sunday and your only day off is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Your body literally, or my body, almost could not recover. Shit, I do YouTube twice a week and I'm just you're like- You're exhausted, right? So, I mean, you know, eight shows a week, no help singing against the orchestra, which is right here, you know, yeah. in, in Chicago. Did you get an earpiece? Yeah, you have a mic like taped into your wig, but your ears are not. You don't have ear monitors because you don't That's need a them. Because yeah, you have a you have a mic pack, and then your mic was in your wig right here, so that you could be heard. But you don't have in ear monitors because the orchestra is literally right here blar blaring in your. Can you guys imagine that? I would probably be like. Ah! Well, it costs. Ah! Honey, the Honey Beach. Honey <laughs> Beach. Okay, so we are doing forty favorite things. Mm. We are splitting. 
this in half. 20, 20. Meaning 20 of yours and 20 of mine. 20 of yours and 20 of mine. Certainly not and that last year that passed. No, that last no. year was trash. We're putting it in the bin. I just, they I just, I'm up. not, I'm not acknowledging most no. of that because Drake and Future picked it up from that one thing. Life is good. You know how they were the trash guys? Yes, they and threw it away. They threw it away. There was nothing. Oh, already out. You need a. <laughs> I, I, I can't catch up with this fabulous car. What the. F <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I set you up. <laughs> you did set me up, Dexter. <laughs> Dee Dee! This is Dexter, and I'm Dee Dee. Dee, Dee. And this is uh, Harusha's YouTube, and we've taken over Harusha's YouTube. Dee Dee is mm. in my laboratory. This Every time laboratory. we do glam together, it's like so mm. funny. We talk about everything in life, like it's like a full on seminar or something. Usually we talk about gangsters. <laughs> so I'm gonna go first. Okay, you and go first. I have something for you to try out. I know you've never tried this out, so. I have not. What is that? Okay, so this is a Zen pen, and my favorite flavor is lavender from Pelicure. I'm actually taking it to Pelicure this I week. I cannot wait. Okay, good. What is in this? Okay, so this is CBD, but it's a really high concentrated CBD. Like, it's not like the cheap CBD, where like nothing happens, where you swear you're taking Well, what something. is, okay, okay, hold on. What is going to happen to me right now? It's gonna feel like you took a uh, A Xanax? Zen. Oh. Sorry, I don't mean to bust open the product, but I'm gonna bust open the product. What, what do I do with this? You know, so I'm not here. a smoker. I know. Okay. Cheers. So. Cheers. What do I do? This side? Sorry, I hate to be mm -hmm. such a, a loser, but okay, yeah? Yeah, okay. the hole. Okay, right. So you're gonna... I feel it already. This one surprised FaceTimes more than anyone I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I only pick up for her because <laughs> I trust. I would know. I hate when people like FaceTime you with a million people around. No, I don't like that. It pisses me off so yeah, much. Yeah, but you've seen me in some tore up FaceTime. Yeah. I mean, where I was like, yeah. My favorite story of you, though, <sighs> is when you went to a supermarket. Oh, and the chicken wings. Yes. <laughs> This is what happened. I went to, so it was the end of the season. I was telling Harush, I went to Ralph's because I wanted some chicken wings and the girl behind the counter, I had no makeup on, I had my hair in a ponytail. This is a couple of years before pandemic. So <laughs> this girl says, hey, aren't you the girl from Beverly Hills? And I said, nope. And she goes, are you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm real sure. She's like, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I've seen you on Beverly Hills. It was everything I could do to get my chicken wings and leave. I did not want to be that girl. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I was looking so broke down. I was so tired. And I just didn't have it in me. And, and I, I didn't want to be rude. But at the same time, she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I just know you're, from, you're that girl from Beverly Hills. I know. It was like one of those days. It was a really funny when she it told me. It was a day. I, it, I delivered it better then. I don't know what's wrong with me now. Uh, um, you're crossfaded. Yeah, is that what this is? Crossfaded, mm -hmm. all right, cool. I did the product, now you do a product. Uh, okay, well I don't have anything as interesting Didi. as, and, yeah, I don't have anything as interesting as Dexter, okay? <laughs> I have nothing like this. So I brought a few, and you know, you've been with me on yeah. tour, and you know, showgirl life. So what is showgirl life? Celebrity life. life. These yeah, are celebrity secrets, well-kept Hollywood secrets. Well, I don't know if they're well-kept anymore, but they're no, certainly- Now because of YouTube, I've been exposing everyone. So today I brought and you know this product well. I learned this from you, actually. You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> See, I even thought this one something. Westmore, if you ever wanna like paint your body for stage, TV, or just, you know, a good night at the club, Westmore. It sticks, it really covers, and it stays on, for sure. And I love this product a lot. And it, it comes in a couple colors only. You can jump in the pool and yes. the shit doesn't come off. But yeah, you can definitely like, swim in this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you're gonna get some ass later, it may end up on his clothes. So be careful of that. She uses the colors. There's only a couple, actually. Golden Radiance yeah. and Natural Radiance. I mix these two, yeah. depending on how much coverage we need. Basically, light. You know, because light, people don't understand this, but lighting is beauty. It is. It really is. I mean, you take a pretty girl, you throw some bad light on her. She Everyone's looks gonna look bad. Yeah, it's really true. Cover for what you're doing. A night out does not necessarily equal a night on camera. So cheers to Westmore. Cheers to Westmore. Oh God, rouge. I told you. That's bad. For the hair, let's do it. Royal Blowout, Orbe. This is like an industry standard, I feel, and certainly mm -hmm. with my hair that's constantly being pulled at. And Clyde. Yeah, <laughs> Clyde. <laughs> 
constantly being pulled at. And because I have so much color on my hair, you know, you always have to heat protect. People really sleep on heat protectant and you really shouldn't. This is a good one. Why? Because I've used it for a million years and it's never let me down. Yes, there are a lot of products on the market, but this is a staple. I really believe in this one. So yeah, that's my royal Especially when blowout. you have like blonde hair. And yeah, blonde hair, it can get trashed so easily. And you guys don't understand what, like she has really good hair. Like, I have a lot of really hair. Really good hair. Like it's crazy how good your hair is. And a lot of it. And you know, the great thing about quarantine was my own hair was allowed to grow back in. Mm -hmm. I may have one piece in today, but you know, this is all my length. But yeah. you know what, you get, you get into a lifestyle of doing shows and things. And so it was easier to have them in all the time, but royal blowout. Speaking of blowouts, you're oh my God. literally the best commentator right now for me. Know. Okay, so this coconut is, a, love this is oil. a coconut love oil. It's an all natural lubricant. I don't know if you guys know this, but like you can get like a yeast infection Absolutely. if you use like certain lubricants and stuff. But like this is really good for while you're doing it. <laughs> We're going straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> like it's real natural coconut. So like. Hey, that's nice. Yeah. That tastes really nice. This, if you put it on yourself or on- Others. Others. Yeah, like, this is a you're nice- You're gonna taste so good, even if someone is and pleasuring you, right. you. Rub this on your crotch or your punana and- Or his penis. Let me help you out. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 this tastes seriously trop- like, And this has never given you any infections. Never. Lovely. Everything gives me like a UTI. Yeah. If I wear a bathing suit for too long, yeah, you get a UTI, um, and it's wet. I get like a UTI or a yeast infection. Mm -hmm. I know it's TMI, but no, it's not because you know what? A lot it's of women. The truth. It's really true. A lot of women are very sensitive in this area, and you do get yeast infections from things like that. You, yeah. you can get them from like costumes, bathing suits, not mm -hmm. you know, just heat holding in your pee. Yeah. So, so this is all natural coconut here, organic, raw, non-GMO. How about a hairbrush? <laughs> Have yourself a Mason Pearson. It, you can't go wrong. I'm sure you have a million. Mm. Get the combination bore nylon. That's what really makes the difference. You know, have one of these. Yes, it's expensive. And you know what? It's worth it's it. Worth because it. I've had my brushes. If you keep your brushes and you wash your brushes. I agree, yeah. How long have you had some of your makeup brushes? Like 17 years. Right. I'm not the honest. Yeah. Like really good, true. The really expensive goat hair? ones. The, yeah, goats, the goat hair. The yeah. goat. The goat is the best. Sorry, goats. Um, this will also do the same thing. You keep it washed and cleaned and you'll have it forever. The thing about having like uh, prestige products is, you know, like when something is at a lower cost, I get it's more affordable, but you're going to need a new one faster. It's when really true. When you actually make the investment in purchasing something that is a little bit more expensive, they last longer. Not all expensive products are like this, but quality staples are like this. I agree with that hundred percent. Okay, let's talk some skincare. I know that, okay. you know, you come from a long line of skincare experts, your mom being one of them, and you have some of the most flawless skin I've Aww, ever seen without makeup. You. It's really true. If you've ever caught her without her makeup on, Aww. it's like creamy and even. And um, I, I struggle with redness, which is, you know, just part of my genetics. So I use a a lot of is clinical, is clinical, however you want to say it, whatever. Warm honey cleanser, my Pro Heal, my active serum to keep like scales off. But this product here, and I don't know is if that you know the this. Miracle? No, it's Rosalie. I've never tried this. This is an, this is like a staple. Check I'll it use out. anything on my skin. Yeah, me too, but this is like really good stuff. Youth Dew, you know, youth cream because yes, I'm in search of it. And I, youth eye. So that's my little skincare routine. That's what I do when I'm not full of makeup and yeah. on my days off. If you don't have to wear makeup. You shouldn't. You should not be wearing makeup. You should not. You should only wear it when you work. And I think that like social media has made everyone just wear makeup 24 seven. And, and they it's don't not good stuff. for you. It's not good for your skin. It's not good, it's for, not your good skin. for aging mm -mm. at all. Like you she looks younger than 20 year olds. You do. Oh your skin God. looks younger than 20 year olds. You know what it is too is, you know, the skin is a living, organ and so yeah. you need to treat it with care and you can't have a ton of makeup on all the time you're right yeah. about that and so many young women think that they should just continuously pile makeup on and pile mm -hmm. makeup on no clean your skin and give it a chance to rest and give it a chance to breathe and the natural oils come back you know what makeup is dirty too you know you need to use it with care 
Exactly, and it expires, you guys. And one it does. thing, like I always teach everyone that like works with me is cleanliness is key with makeup and if you're not clean with it it will break you out 100 percent. and especially in your line of work where you're putting different makeup on your different clients my god if you have have a so an expire you have to be so makeup artists are so clean Mm -hmm. or they should be like i sanitize my hands like a crackhead to the point that i got eczema in my palm you're always very clean your kid is you and there's one other makeup artist who have the two cleanest kits i've ever used and that's um priscilla Oh, no. So, cheers to yeah. good clean, skin. Here, ch- cheers to clean good skin. Clean coochies, clean skin. Since you talked about under eye, I'm going to talk about the Tula Glow and Get It. I recently discovered this, and I feel like you're going to really love it. What is that? Okay, so it's an eye balm. I love wearing it under makeup. You guys see that? Yeah, I do. So it's, what's it going to do? It depuffs the eye, like, instantly. So I, like, recently discovered this. You don't have to put on eye patches. You can just swipe this really hard and, like, hold it down and it just I can't explain it because when I saw it on camera I was like wow like I was really really shocked at it and this is made with probiotics and superfoods it has no harsh chemicals in it it is vegan cruelty free it's one of the best eye balms I have ever ever used and you've used a lot of stuff that's a that's a bold statement I've, (laughs) I've used a lot of stuff and the cool thing about this eye balm is you can actually put it over foundation over setting powder over anything if you feel like you overdid it you can tap this and tap it in and calm it Will it, it down. take down like the crease yeah. in the, in mm-hmm. the, that's what I hate the most about like makeup. Baking, and, yeah. Yeah, it's because when I smile, then immediately it all kind of cracks. Yeah, I agree. When you put too much powder when you do this, it's not cute that everyone can see all of this. No. Talking about skin, talking about makeup, what do you put on your face before she attacks it with her uh, fabulous brushes and potions? For me, I mean, I know that this is like an old school jam. But it's good. It is good. Bobbi Brown face base and the Bobbi Brown eye. I need moisture. I'm 49 years old, so I would rather look like a French fry than a powdered donut. That is the truth. You know, I just don't want to look dry. And this is something that helps makeup lay down on my face. Obviously, it's an individual thing, but I love these products. I don't know if you like these. No, I do. I used to actually, when I first started doing celebrities, that's all I was using. Mm -hmm. For me, and I say this a million times, Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown. Speaking of moisture. The old school classic. Mm -hmm. You cannot. You guys don't know how pretty this is. This, <laughs> a round of applause from Clyde. Yeah, the audience loves it. Yeah, it's just, it is one of... Um, it is so rich. You don't need a lot of it either. No, a little goes a long way for this one. It is the best body cream of all time. And the reason why I like this body cream the most is you can mix it with the self tanners. No other body cream that I've used. This is the one that's You know why? Because they pull apart. Yeah. This This will not pull it apart. It doesn't really have like the best smell in the world. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't really smell anything. It's just like bland. Yeah, but that's okay though. I'd rather have that than perfume. Yeah, like sometimes it smells like uh, the bathroom sprays, like lotions. Sorry, no shade. But this has no like scent to it. This is Cream the Corpse Keels. If you mix this with the Westmore, like look at how shiny our hands look now. It just like makes it really, really shiny Rich. and it yeah. stays. It does stay. Your skin will not fully absorb this. If you guys love putting baby oil on you for that shine thing, try this. Try this instead. Really, yeah. honestly, this is a little bit, it, baby oil runs and, re, I mean, for me, I don't think, yeah. this is, this is, look, there's a reason that Kiehl's, this particular product has been used by everybody for a hundred years and the reason is it's good. Speaking of hair, since uh-huh. I've rubbed this um, in my hair, I have something that you have. One of my favorites is your favorite mm-hmm. and that is Elnet's. And I stole Clyde's, and you have yours, and so yes. cheers. cheers. We have our own. L'Oreal, can we get one? For yeah, L'Oreal, I need one. Thank you. Erica? Again, it is an industry staple. Why? Because it really works. You can make a fierce do, like a fierce creation, and then brush it out. And your hair is not torn. Your hair is not destroyed. It is not frizzy. It is not damaged. Elnet is the way to go. Wait, I don't worry about ex- this. Yeah, we even have extra the same kind. Stronghold. The extra stronghold. You know why? They have different ones. You know why the extra stronghold? Because it brushes out. And, and you- unscented. Yes. Since I was talking about moisture, let's get this one done. You guys, she um, doesn't like a lot of scents. I like smells. it on other people, but I'm allergic to it myself. Yeah, but then like sometimes I feel like you get nauseous if someone's wearing the wrong... That's true too. 
Like, they wearing I that can cheap tell. shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, I actually really thought was like a bunch of bullshit. I what saw it on TikTok and I did this one video where I was ripping TikTok trends apart. You got your ass handed to you? <laughs> I love it. And they're like, this gives you a BBL. The boob one gives you a boob job. I was like, yeah. So ordered it. This is my second bottle. So it's like candy. Yeah. Buns of glow. You use it on your ass. And it faded Does it tighten my up stretch. Everything? It it oh. faded my stretch marks, but they don't claim it on like the site. They say it does something else that it lifts your skin, and I think the serum does lift the skin a lot. But this one, I've used lasers to fade my stretch marks. When you put it on, anyone it smells will eat incredible. Your shit. Oh, <laughs> the coconut oil in, in the front, coconuts right. in the back. back you know, it's like a candy shop, honey. You are a candy shop. <laughs> this, you guys, seriously. Have to try. Does it, it work? It's. Do you like it on your boobs or on your ass better? Um, they have a boob one. I don't oh, like, this. Oh, okay. I don't like the way the boob one smells too much. I love the way this smells on my ass. Is it just a cream or is it like a Look mask? Look at how thick it is. Here, try it. So okay. see how thick it goes on. And what is? Do you just leave it on? Yeah, you leave it on. I put it on. I shower and then I use it at night because it's a little bit. It's yeah. It's she's got yeah. She's she's like shea butter on another level, and it's all natural ingredients. Yeah, it says vegan cruelty for yeah. me. So I found it hard to believe, but because I have done so many lasers, because I used to be really, really skinny, as you guys know, and then I gained a lot of weight, so I got a lot of stretch marks. I've done lasers, I've tried creams, everything to fade and this my really stretch did marks. It? This faded my stretch marks within literally weeks. Wow. It was really crazy. It, and also, um, my friends used it. It takes away razor bumps, razor burn. It doesn't have a long shelf life because it is vegan, but honestly. How long uh, would you say do you have till you can use it? Um, Six months, maybe, which is normal. That's for, normal, I was gonna say yeah. like 90 days. I don't know what this is called, but I use it. It's a face shield. Okay, fine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I love the way she just shot me down. It's called a face shield. <laughs> This face shield is something that I think I, I think that Harush uh, appreciates because when hairstylists come in and they want to like spray your hair and then they spray all over your makeup that you've taken like two hours it to perfect, me off so right? Much. So here you go. I mean, this is the easiest thing, not expensive at all. You can get it at your local beauty store. You can make it yourself. I just happen to like this one. Yeah. And, and then, then your stylist sprays all around and your face is not touched. And when you're working with someone like Harush, you know. You're paying top dollar for her skill, and you don't want, well, it's true, and yeah. you don't want, like, when you did my um, Too Faced campaign, and when you do my sit down, you know, it's just, yeah. I'm hiring you for a very specific reason. I don't need it f No, I know. And hairspray and products, and like they leave But marks. some people don't understand that, like, that, like, they're, because hairstylists will always get pissed off when you're putting setting spray on somebody's face, and they're That's like, right. the hairline. But it's like, wait a minute, the you just absolutely sprays that you and I like annihilated her face. I annihilated my work with. Yeah, so. it was completely fine, but I sprayed two f mists on her forehead. Which brings me to another one. Can I jump in? Yes, of course. Since you said, let's some setting spray with cover effects. I mean, yes. for me, look, I'm on stage. Like when I was on Broadway, we used this. Your face stays. It's not tacky, and I don't feel like I've sprayed my face with hairspray. And I love cover effects. I think it's really good. This is the matte one or um, the hydrating? The Probably the hydrating. High performance setting spray. 24 hour, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the stronghold one. I love the dewy one to put on my forehead. I did eight shows a week on Broadway with cover effects and my face never slipped off. You can't have that. You know, you no. can't like worry about your face while you're worrying about everything else. So cover effects. I can't even imagine how you sang, looked good. We have a lot of people danced. to help. Yeah. You have a lot of people to set that wig and you have um, people backstage helping you touch up with your own kit. It's a whole thing. Since um, we're talking about sprays, we're so perverted. stupid, I know. What, but we bring out the you? worst <laughs> on each other. It's only when I'm with you. It's the Cancerian thing. It's By the, the way, cancer we're both system. Cancers. Yes, it's yeah. the Cancerian naughtiness. People think I'm such a stick in the mud, and I'm not. I just choose who I get freaky with. <laughs> Okay, so. What are you gonna blow me out with? Uh, this is by Rito Bal Afrique, um, and it's a hair perfume. Is it really? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, that's nice because it's yeah. not over. Um, it's not OD, yeah, at all. Because I'm sensitive to smell. That's nice. Right? And this will take like all of the sweat and grime out yeah. of your head. And like if you smoke or if you're around smoke. <laughs> Smoke 
So um, that's nice. By Rito Bella Freak. By Rito is one of my favorite hair mists. Um, they have amazing perfumes as well. Bal de Afrique, do not annihilate me. English is my second language. K and well, it's my first, and I would not say that. So I don't know, <laughs> this is like my one of my favorite. I have different hairs, like smells. I like to. Stick you're the to. queen of that. People don't know that, but you you're very good with scents. Yeah, and you gave me you gave me um, the baccarat for Christmas when you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only one I'll use because for whatever reason I'm not sensitive to it, and I really like it. But you're very good with scent. You're very you you should be like a perfume maker. I thank you. I like I you really, really want take to do time that, with it though. You I know you have how to a good mix. nose. Yes. Yeah. You do. Like, for example, if I was wearing a perfume, I would pick which hair mist I would wear. I, I won't make it clash. Do you use this at all? I do. Yes. Okay. You put me onto it because Did I? I got foundation in your hair. That's and right. And you're like, don't worry, baby. Right. Watch this. <laughs> so when you're super blonde and around your hairline and stuff, sometimes, not a rouge. But I I've have, learned. I did it one time. I you think. did it once, and she yeah. never did it again. Yeah. I have cussed out not Harush. <laughs> I have let a mother have it who told me to go take a makeup wipe to my hair. And anybody that has really light hair, you know that you cannot get makeup. There is nothing I hate more. It screams amateur makeup artist when I see. The makeup stops here in the hairline, okay? That's where the hair person takes over. Your makeup does not go into the hairline. But just in case it does, chlorine, natural, you can get it out. And it's crazy. Like, even I feel like if they have like roots coming out and they're blonde, they I can do this. spray this. Listen, yeah. I did this today. My roots are um, yeah. not 100% and we threw some yeah. chlorine in it and it touched it right up. So chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. It's really good for blondes and it's also good if you haven't been able to wash your hair, you've been at the gym, you've been clubbing, whatever, you don't feel that fresh. Spray this in, wait like 60 seconds, then brush your hair out yeah. and you'll feel good. You guys. Somebody pulled Clyde my hair is out. wild. But good wild, right? Yeah, he's a good time. When's my turn? <laughs> You're gonna come on. Stop stage. yelling from the peanut gallery. <laughs> my God, we're trying to get this shit done. <laughs> I'm like drinking, what am I? I you don't even know what you're drinking. Pens and all that. <laughs> what is this? Pills okay. and potions. Just pills, potions, pens. Blue, <laughs> okay. All right, where are Erica we? Erica had no idea what the f*** was walking into. I really, I really didn't. I thought we were going to do like a cute chat about beauty. I'm high and <laughs> my very first YouTube. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> this is only for you. Summer is coming up and thick dives save lives. And we all know how big my thighs and my hips and my ass is. Do not spray it in your coochie. That is actually really bad. For you, I used to spray it on my thighs for it not to chafe. Because when I wear summer dresses, my thighs be chafing a little bit. Well, you get wet. That's what yeah. people don't want to say, is that you get wet. That's the truth. Everybody gets yeah. wet. I get real wet. Yeah, you get wet. That's how it is. In the summertime, you know, I change my underwear two, three times a day. Yeah, I don't wear underwear. Dove in Advanced Care Dry Spray Carrying Coconut. Since we, you have to pick a flavor, remember? The sun thing, if you are gonna be on the coconut vibes on your kitty cat, you are gonna stick to that scent family. So I actually use some of this like as an underarm deodorant for some reason because like it just doesn't leave anything. I use a serum as a deodorant, but sometimes- Do you really? Yeah. I use this. Really? Yeah, I use the pear. I use Kosas um, serum. Hmm. I use this, I use the pear, pear something. I use this and I love it. So when I need the heavy duty, I'll hit it. I do it underneath my boobs because my boobs are real and they're sweaty. heavy and sweaty. Yeah. And then I do between my thighs and sometimes I'll literally separate my ass and go. A lot of people I think ask me this question when um, singers or yeah, it's singers that are on stage performing. Sure. Why do they not look sweaty? These are the reasons why. Yeah. She takes a stick between her thighs. I do. I take the stick between my thighs. Um, they look perfect on stage, and you don't know how much you goes are just in. soaked. You're just soaked, and you can't not be if you're doing your job right. You're underneath. Mm -hmm. You've got so many layers on. You're underneath lights. You're sweating. So yeah, I, I use the stick. I haven't, I feel like the powder is lighter. Which one? This the, one? The spray is lighter than the stick for sure. Like yeah. what I do is like a little You bit do heavier. the heavy duty, yeah. yeah. Speaking of skin, I have eczema. I always have, I've always been sensitive and I feel like as I get older and more stress and exposure to elements that, you life. know, I have eczema, yeah, life. So I'm a big one on the Cetaphil ex eczema control. This right here holds a lot of moisture. I try to do it every day. I have a big patch of eczema actually on one of my legs you know depending on whether I've moisturized or not it will break out I also use the wash which I don't have with your 
Mm. I have the wash. I really like it. I love the wash. I too. really like it. And if, if you have eczema, I highly suggest this. It really works. We have eczema together. Like it's so crazy. It's just it looks in the swollen, palms of my honestly. Hands. It is swollen. And my I have hands look swollen. Like you guys, I was a hand sanitizer freak before hand sanitizer and now was she a thing. Really is. And now I'm more of a She psychopath. has blisters. Yeah, blisters from hand sanitizers. Speaking of that, so I started trying this <laughs> new one. It's hand sanitizing wipes with fresh aloe in it. So it could be calmer on my hands. Cause the one that I was using before, yes, it was like literally, it was just like when- Rubbing um, alcohol. Yeah, it was rubbing alcohol and it was cleaning everything. But this is disgusting if someone, I don't care what anyone says, come for me in the comments. If I do anyone's face with my hand like this, I find that disgusting. You know what though? I mean, yeah, but I know you, I know how you got that. And that's alcohol yeah, burn. Yeah, but it, it's- it just looks like so it hurts gross. to like, me. You know how just, psycho I am I with know. like, I like everything a certain way. I like everything clean. Laid and, out beautifully. Yeah, I would wear gloves if with this blister right now, if I had to touch someone's face, I would put on gloves. So like when this happened, I was like freaking out. Like, how am I gonna do anyone's makeup? That's so gross if I touch someone's face like this. It's the antiseptic towelettes from Bomblicity. Bomblicity. Bom 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 Hand sanitizing wipes, fresh aloe, antiseptic towelettes, um, safe for sensitive skin. So this is for sensitive skin. It hasn't been irritating my hands because I do need to sanitize. So definitely try this out if you guys have sensitive of skin keep this in your car it is really not that expensive and it's probably the best hand sanitizing wipes i've ever used this is something that you put me on to. I already know what it is. This one? Yeah. Did you know? Yeah. NARS liquid orgasm. Would we say blush? Would we blush, say, yeah. Would, yeah. It's like a, it's a liquid blush. It's a blush. liquid blush. And what it does, I mean, for my skin, actually you gave this to me, which is why it's so <laughs> squeaky and old. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and you give it like a little squirt and you pat it down with squirt. your squirt, squirt, <laughs> squirt, with your um, beauty blender or something and it goes over your cheeks really nicely and it gives you that I have it on right now. I do too. Yeah, and it, it gives a glow like instead of like a powder blush. I it feel really like does. It gives a very, very beautiful glow. It's almost like a childlike glow. Yes, It's youthful. very youthful and um, I really like it a lot. I have it so on my thank forehead you. too. I don't have it on my forehead but I do have it on my cheeks. Right over here. Here, here, and a little bit on my nose. Yes, Vaudeville. There you go. So there you go. <laughs> and thank you for introducing this to me. Of because course. she put it on my face one day and I was like, can I have that? And she was like, yeah. I mean, I like to collect makeup. The truth is I love makeup. I, I hate putting it on myself because mm -hmm. I don't have patience. But you're like the glam queen. You I love, enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy the products. I enjoy watching them being made. I enjoy mm -hmm. what, knowing what's in them. And I really like it when people know what to do with it. She so. asks a lot of questions about, here you go, here's a Oh, way. thank you. How convenient. She, she asks a lot of questions about like what goes on, what the ingredients are. She's probably one of the only clients that does because everyone else just doesn't pay attention. But she'll be like, what's that? That's a good bone. Co that one contour color. It's that the I ash. Use. It looks You're like, like bones. The ash in that is bone. It looks it like It is. Bone. It looks like bones. And that's what you want. You don't want some sort of wild brown, at least for my skin. You don't want yeah. some sort of like brown streak. You want something that looks like bone. And yeah. so that was, that's always been, I love that one. What else? Yeah, it's the Kat Von D. Speaking of makeup, um, we put it all on and this honestly is, is that to take it off yeah oh you know how you do the old school cream yeah. erica <laughs> is like i put on cream and i wipe my makeup off first because like it's like the cream what, what is it well i use a couple different oils yeah. to break down the makeup and so that i can like gently get at it because it's like a two or three step process for me i'm older so you can't have you know at 49 you can't be in there just like <laughs> tugging at your skin because, you know, it's yeah. just not, it's not right. You shouldn't be pulling at your skin too much, Ever. period. Ever. You shouldn't Unless even be it's like a skin. lymphatic massage and you know exactly which points you're doing. That's different. Yeah. Can I get your concealer? A Born This Way concealer. Yeah. I like this because I wore it, um, well, first off, I had a fabulous collaboration with Two Faced, Faced, that you did the campaign for, so yes. thank you very much. Of course. But more importantly, Born This Way Concealer does not move. I wore it eight shows a week on Broadway. It looks good. It does not crack, it does not move, and it does not look chalky and crazy. How I remove my makeup, Born This Way is like really, really thick. Very thick. We have it on here. I am going to rub it in. Oh, look how nicely it actually went on. I was gonna say. <laughs> you guys, look at look how at nicely that. it wow. went on. Look at that opacity. Like, 
And it's like not chalky. No. Really pretty. It's really pretty. Good. So this is One Size by Patrick Starr. And listen, she glams crazy. So the one thing I was really into was like, she came out with a makeup remover. So... Which is a cool thing. Because she bakes and bakes and it's a lot of like the technique. A lot of layers. A lot of layers. The technique that she uses for the makeup is, is a lot. And I, I was really interested, oh, how does she take it off her face? Literally, you oh. spray, you rub. Bitch, this shit looks like Pam. No it shade. Is. It but is. But bitch, this shit looks like Pam. But it doesn't break you out. Get out. Wow. What a great product. Makeup dissolving mist, and that's exactly what it did. Yeah. It dissolved it on contact. It was really crazy because I thought at first I can only use it on my skin, and then I got really bold and I started using it on my eyes. And literally, it, it took just, the eye makeup off as well? Everything. I do like shh, like that, and then I you just rub. give it a rub. So you don't like spray it onto something and then. No, I directly spray it onto my face. I appreciate this. I do too, you know why? Because nobody can get their face off mm -hmm. without one. one. Mm -mm. I really appreciate this. This is another one. This is his makeup wipes. So good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so impressed with the product. It works so well and the size of it is like insane. And how easy you've made for my makeup to come off is insanity. And you don't break out. I do not break out. My eyes are not irritated. Like at first I was like, maybe it's gonna irritate my eyes and this no. and that. You just need to lightly rub. So I was doing it wrong the first couple times. I was spraying it and then taking the wipe and wiping it off. But you just use your hands yeah, instead. Yeah, you have to use your hands to use your body heat to melt down the product and then you wipe it off. Let's go with the little bad gal, Fenty. Bad gal, Riri. I love these glosses. Are they called? Gloss bombs. Bombs, yeah. yeah gloss They're bombs. really good. They are. And I wear these all the time, especially when I'm shooting Housewives. It's just something that these two in particular, it's the nude and the pink, just go over everything. Mm -hmm. I love her anyway, so. Um, Who doesn't? Hey, girl. Um, you know she's my new neighbor? Get out! Really? Okay, okay, all right. We're coming over, Yana. We're coming over, we're coming over. Love, Miss Fenty. Love the gloss bombs. Actually, I like a lot of products in the line, but these two particular work for me every day. So go get them. Y'all know how you have Starbucks? Yeah. We have Armenian coffee. And if you want to crawl up on the ceiling. Like I was going to say, girl, I probably run around this block like a hundred times. So if you want to um, mow your lawn with a pair of <laughs> brow scissors <laughs> every single day, that energy. So this is called um, Anush. Like, it straights from... Straights. It's I'm straight talking, from. It's straights from Armenia, from the homeland. <laughs> Jazva coffee, that's what it's called. And you make it in a Jazva. The way you make this a coffee... A Jazva? What the, what Jazva, the, Jazva. Is it like a coffee? I'm going to put the picture of it. Like a French I, press, in a way? It's not a French press. It's like, some, like, it's like a baby little pot you put on the stove. And then oh. you put a spoon full of this, one cup of water, and then if you like sugar, half sugar. Okay. And then you keep stirring it. That's how you make it good. You have to like be attentive and keep stirring okay. it. And then when it rises, you turn it off. And then I like to take the first top layer, put it in the little espresso cup, and then fill it up. And then, cause like the top layer is the thickest. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's really strong. It really is. It sounds like it's like, there you go. You can uh -huh. have this. Okay, thank I have you. a lot of them. I'm gonna call you tomorrow and be she's like, like what I have so much energy. <laughs> okay, so everyone knows that I love glam and I uh, have this glam squad all the time. When she you're at... has an entourage <laughs> of glam, let me tell you that much. And, and when you're well, at her level, you. you need it. Hey, thank you. <laughs> One time we had to go on a cast trip to Rome and there was no glam, which is fine. I can do it if I want to. You looked good, by the way. Well, let me tell you how I did it. RCMA palettes. Now, I'm gonna wanna make sure that you can see these. Yeah. Here's the thing about RCMA. It's Perfect. straight up pro makeup. It is not makeup that you wear on a date. It's not makeup that you're wearing anywhere else. But I know that everyone who's in the game and who is uh, makeup savvy knows RCMA. Why do I like it? Because, look, I'm 49 years old, so I need coverage and I need it quickly. And these palettes delivered it to me immediately when I was in France. Even though I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, I didn't wear lashes, but I did get a good coverage. And I feel like RCMA is the go-to. Anytime we do anything, it's like RCMA my chest. It gives that cream and it photographs well. So you don't feel dry, you don't feel dusty, but it gives that creamy finish. It's amazing on camera. There's yes. nothing that photographs better than RCMA. I agree. There is nothing that films better than RCMA. It's HD makeup. I remember I did like this like glam box for a pro makeup class 
and I was telling everyone just get the glam box just because of the colors of the RCMA that's in it and they're hard to find they're not easy to find they're not they're not <laughs> easy to find go, so go. the colors matter so this one is the YHs which is great for highlighting and contouring and this is the KOs these are not the Shintos you have light skin so the KO is great for light skin Shinto is great if you have tan skin. It's a little bit more yellow. Yeah. And then this is the YH, which is the highlight and the contour palette for light skin. And I'm obsessed with RCMA since I started using it. So I have super, super sensitive skin, but um, this is a new one. I didn't, again, I don't want to bring the ones I used. This is amazing if you have sensitive skin. And what I found out with dry brushing, not only is it like, does it increase your blood circulation? It helps with back knee for me. I don't know oh. why. Like, so I do that before I get into the shower. You dry brush before. You don't have to do it in certain areas. Like I would never touch an area that like has eczema, but I do it on my back a lot and my butt. Do you use it on the thicker skin? Like your yeah. back has thicker yeah. skin and stuff like that? Yeah, I, I won't use it on thin skin. Mm -mm. Some people do, I don't. I use it on thicker skin here. You want to feel what it feels like? That's not bad. Yeah, it's not like that's the not other bad. ones. No, that's yeah, not bad really, at all. It's a really, really light dry brushing situation. You're not going to really damage your skin. You're not going to get anything happening to it. It's a no very, tears. Yeah, no tears. You're not going to get irritated. Your skin's not going to burn. It's a really light dry brush thing. It's a cute aesthetic. It is cute. Also, if you guys aren't catching the names of all the products, we are going to put it in the description box below. So before you guys comment that, just click on the description box. All the links will be there. How about some Fenty Universal Powder? I wear this a lot. So let's say we're shooting Housewives. Harouche kills my face and then sends me off, right? And I have no idea what's gonna happen, whether I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown or whatever. But this particular powder keeps me intact. Uh, it's so good, I lost the brush, and you can tell I've been using it like crazy. So, and I don't care because it just seems to work for whatever reason. I don't know, I really like it. What are so, you about to do? You guys see how she has like the imprint? It's not gonna work as good. Oh, you have are to you roughing up the surface of my powder? Yeah. Cool. So you guys, if you dip a sponge that had foundation that was already touched on your face onto a powder, it's gonna harden the powder and the powder payoff is not gonna be as good. Universal, Fenty. Any skin color, this works. It really does. I love this powder too. I do too. So this is a lavender pillow, smell it. That's really nice. So it's like a yoga pillow, that's what it's called. I know a lot of people wear eye masks, but I like this and it's just so good and it smells like lavender. That's nice. It doesn't mess up your glam if you have it on. That's bad. Right? I love lavender. You know what it has? It has enough pressure yeah. to make you feel relaxed. That's what I think is important yeah. about these pillows, is that they have to have enough in them in order for you to feel something, otherwise it's just another eye shade. So no. what's nice is that, you know, this actually has enough weight to it and it smells good. Also, if you, want to put it on your forehead if your head I bet is if it's cold or something yeah you can put it in the fridge or you can microwave it for 20 seconds and, and make it, it warm. becomes warm it smells so good it's a handmade yoga accessory lavender eye pillar sam yoga again click on the link these are like random things that i use so like i don't know the brands that well you guys know when you go to the supermarket and you just buy shit you're not going to really know the brand you just know you buy that shit that's we bought it we bought it that's the vibe. This next uh, product <laughs> that I'm gonna pull out costs about a dollar or three dollars mm -hmm. and it will absolutely save your face. So you've spent all this time and money on Harouche doing your face. But here's the thing, um, I call this the beekeeper. I really don't know what it's called other than, it's, I think it's just called like a makeup hood. This is the greatest thing this ever. This is the greatest thing ever. Life. Listen, if you don't have one of these and you're calling yourself a performer, not true. Okay, here's what it looks like. And I'm a f Remember when I said who wears turtlenecks and does glam? This bitch. <laughs> See? So now, I mean, look, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All the time that I just spent with Harouche is not ruined. Now, my face is good. I can put on my costume or whatever. And guess what, girl? And zip it right out. What? Ah. And she... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll thank me later. I'm a professional. You're not. The end. <laughs> Let's Keep get going. a round of applause <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah. So since we're um, gonna need a lot of zen tomorrow, I even offered her to take her to a massage tomorrow. <laughs>
<laughs> because of the amount that we're drinking right now. I'm a psychotic fan of vanilla, even scents like under notes or main notes or high notes in perfumes. I need vanilla always in them. I discovered vanilla tea. Oh, what is this? Huh. Look at this. It's from Inspiration Boutique. It's Tila Rose Vanilla. That's nice. It's lovely. Is it soothing? It it's feels, I mean, it like sounds very like it very fancy. Right. Oh. Like it, it's very rich bitch vibes. Fancy man. Fancy. Fancy. You put it in a very nice cup and then you're like. It's just a little strong. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is the Erica I want everyone ah, to yeah, see. No, this is not it. No. Not everybody gets this. But they should. Like, well, if they gave me a chance, I would. No, if I you wasn't. guys don't understand what a fun human being this woman is. Thank and you. like, she's so. I like smart. to have a good time. She is, but like, you're light, you're funny. I like I want everyone to see this side of you because thank this you. is who I love. Well, thank you. You know who's real when time gets a rough. And I, you know, like, I've been going through a situation, she's been going through a situation, and it's like, very eye-opening and I'm very grateful to God that I actually went through this hardship because you get to see who the real ones are near you. You know what I think? I think the time that I really knew you were so kind and it really came from the heart was you wrote me this really nice, it was Christmas, mm -hmm. and you wrote me this really nice like text, but it was not like Merry Christmas. It was really from the heart and how you felt. And I thought, my God, there is so much to this woman Aww. that people do not. Because you're somewhat like me in the sense that people immediately look at us bitch. and, and pass bitch. judgment and yeah. pass judgment right away and don't even really get to know us and yeah. don't even really care to. Yeah. Like, we must be these things and they can mm -hmm. continuously label us. But it was one of the sweetest Christmas messages. I'll never forget it. Aww. And it was just so heartfelt. And I thought, wow, there's so much to this woman that people just, they just do not know about. So. I love you. And I love your success. I really do. And, and, and I love your success. Thank you. I'm going to do two products really quick. So this is, I don't even know what brand this is. I was sent I this. feel like I it's, know these from a long time ago. Yeah. This is like old school honey. Yeah, it's just like pure honey. Honey, honey am, honey am, honey So am. I love tea. I, I don't like tea with sugar or milk. I, I like, like it honey. with honey. Me too. Yeah. So this vanilla tea with, you just chop and then throw the honey in there. Yum. Or like squeeze it out if you're one of those that, oh, it's plastic. But like you guys have to understand that. <laughs> My whole body's plastic. <laughs> Everyone's plastic. plastic Everything LA. is plastic. Oh, it's plastic. I did a collab that Harush did the campaign for, for Two, Two Face. Face. But before I did that, I did a short film for Better Than Sex Mascara. I really like this mascara. It is, well, nothing's better than sex except maybe like a hot craps game, you know, like in Vegas. Oh yeah, when <laughs> you win a lot. When you win a lot of money, right? Yeah, and then yeah. you go shopping and you, and you blow go it shopping. all and you're like, all oh, free right? stuff. Yeah, no, no, better than sex mascara is really great. I know that you use it mm -hmm. and have used it on me for a mm -hmm. very long time. Years. Yeah, years. I've used this on Broadway. I've used it everywhere. It works really well. It doesn't flake stays. No, and I'm also proud to say that Jared and Jeremy are good friends of mine and ours and, um, you know, they admire your work very yes, much. Yes, of course. They're lovely people. We love them and we love better than sex. I know a lot of people like recently on TikTok have been throwing shade and they've been putting on the Maybelline Sky High mascara. And I love Maybelline and I love uh, Too Faced, but one thing I love more is my bluntness and my honesty. And I tried out the Sky High mascara. Did it not work? It worked. It was very shocking at how much it made me look like I had lash extensions on. Wow. But um, good luck to anyone that wears it to take it off. Oh, it irritated really? my eye. Literally, my left eye was tearing up for three days after. And I've never tried it after that. Wow. I love candles. Now, I was obsessed with the Baccarat candle for a very, very long time. Is it the one that smells like our hair? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. And then Pellicure made Oud Wood Antique. It smells so sexy. crazy. This is sexy. When you, but like it smells good like that, but when you burn it, have mm -hmm. you not noticed a lot of people will smell candles like this and it smells good, but then when you burn it, you smell nothing. Yeah. You smell nothing. It's made out of beeswax. It is 18 ounces. It's a big ass candle. I hate candles when you burn it twice and it's done. This you can keep burning over and over again. It, it is great. one of my favorite candles and it's not a ripoff. So Pellicure um, Oud Wood Teak scented luxury candle. It's just- It smells lovely. So good. So, so good. We need to get you like a 
perfume. You need. I need you a need perfume your own. deal. I yeah, need, need a candle something. deal. Like I don't know what it is. I could be like you know those like hound dogs. Yeah, you could be. Oh, or a the, scent dog, a bomb what, dog. What it? What is it? What animal goes and gets truffle? Um, well, they're dogs now. They the Romans used to use pigs, but I I, I did truffle hunting. Really? In France with dogs. They use dogs. They use dogs. Mm -hmm. I could be a truffle hunter. But you know, there's a downfall to it. I'm not going to say who or when, how. When I used to do makeup on brides, some of you guys need to brush your mouth or a Tic Tac. Like, you can't sit that close to someone's face and just, like, let me smell all of that. Hi, I am very ugly, but you should enjoy the movie anyway. You have really good breath. No, but I always, always. say, I've let never me... smelled bad breath off of you, even after you've eaten. It's gotta be. <laughs> Do you, you know what though? I bet you can hide behind yes. the mask these days. Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. You just but hide you know, behind I the mask. I wore a mask before a mask was a thing. Good and for then you. People got I offended. Was, uh, yeah, no. Blogs put me on blast and called me Michael Jackson. I remember one time I oh. had it on for a big client. And they're like, why is she wearing a mask and was on a red carpet? And I was like, I don't want to smell anyone's breath. Yeah, no. I mean, you have to, and also too, like taking a shower and sitting, when you know you're going to be within someone's personal mm -hmm. space like that, and makeup is such an intimate thing. People don't realize that. They think that, oh, you just get your makeup no. done and go. You have to trust someone who's literally in your personal space and literally like, in my, you stick your fingers in you my eyes. You have to like them too. You really do. You know what I hate sometimes on Housewives? I'm just gonna like say this shady shit. I hate it when we're gonna have this whole thing and I'm like, oh, 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 where's my light? You know, like, and there's, yeah. and it's a candle. I'm like, what? I'm too old for a goddamn candle. I mean, could you give me, blast me, please? I need rays, okay? Rays, like, help. But she's spitting facts right now. Can you imagine if I lit this candle and there was no light and this was the Just lighting? Just all to of my the face? stuff. A lot of people think it's like editing, but it's light. It's light. Or like when like I do like some videos and they're like, you edit it. It's like, do no, you know, actually, you guys have no idea how many lights there are around. That's us. right. One product that I think everyone should have, and I actually did a song recently, yeah, and I said, I'm going to go back and put in work in my dirty old sweats. I love you. In my dirty old black sweats. Like, because you know I show up in sweats 24-7. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. So, unlabeled. You guys have no idea how comfortable these sweats are. I didn't know sweats can be this comfortable. It's just, this is my whole vibe 24-7 when I go into work. This is how Erica sees me all the time. I'm it wearing is. sweats 24-7. And can I tell you something? Do you know how comfortable that makes me feel? And I'll tell you why. Because sometimes these new kids think it's about them. It's not. And it's not about you. It's about your client. It's not about you. It's about your client. Yes, you should show up clean and professional and all that, which is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But it's not about you. It's about the face in front of you and that's what needs the attention not your look and mm -hmm. oh my god am I gonna get you know no you take care of your client and you'll have a career you know I think that's one thing that has helped me out in my career the most is like I'm very simple cap sweats so I don't <clears throat> like because I remember when I first started out I was like oh I have to look presentable because like I can't like display my work if my work is not on my face I had that mentality in the beginning sure, of course and then I was like, but wait, like when I have makeup on, I'm caring if I'm scratching myself or if this is happening and that's happening and I'm paying more attention to me. You hit it dead on. I realize when I wear a cap, for some reason, even though I don't agree with this, don't be sensitive with me. Come on. When I wear a hat, if you guys are a makeup artist and you wear a hat, it gives me tunnel vision. I believe that. It like, just gives you focus. Yeah. You it's can like just actually see what's in front of you. Where I'm not like, because I have like ADHD and ADD for sure. With Kylie, one day, like I, I, I seen you that you were, you're glamorous, you're harush, you're the body, and you're everything. <laughs> and I'm like with Kylie, and I'm, I'm in the back, and I hear a blow dry, and I'm on a blow dry, and somebody's at the front in a cap, and just tunnel it, like, just, and I'm like, and I, I finally, I'm like, Kylie, have you seen Harouche lately? Oh, this and, is a true story. And I was like, bitch. So true. And, and you like, I, I wish I let him keep talking. Yeah, I wish like, I Are you keep... drunk? Like, that's Harouche right in front of you. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. Wait, what? <laughs> that, that is, is a real like, story. That, that is, is true. Story. That is brilliant. I wish I let you keep talking to see what you were going to say. He goes to uh, Kylie, like, have you seen uh, Harouche lately? And she, she was looking at me like, there she is. Man. But that that speaks to what I'm saying, which is like, it's never about 
you know, you're there for your client. Yeah. 100%. Yes, you look presentable, but you've got on your hat, you've got on your sweats, and bitch, you are working, and it is full on. It is. And especially if someone is paying you for your services, you don't matter. Like, you're there to provide a service. I can't stand people. Like, one thing I have never done, I'm sure, have I ever asked you for a selfie? No. I, it's a rule I have. I don't no. allow my assistants to. No. I don't allow myself to. If anything, you get the kick-ass BTS that I'm yeah. always like, Harush, can you drop me those pics? Yeah, Harush, I will can you drop me those pics? pictures, the best pictures of clients because yeah. like, I understand lighting and how to take them. I will never ask a client for a selfie. I do not know why I'm That's this so, You way. know what, come to think, I've never even thought of that, but no, yeah. you don't. Because I, like, I remember when I first started, because Kim took a chance on me. Right. Like, I was not a celebrity makeup artist. Right. Let's be honest. She took a chance on me. I, I just remember, like, reading all these things, and I'm like, I'm going to be so professional. I'm going to be so professional that, like, no one's going to be more professional than me. Good. That is one of the things. So, you guys, if you are in the glam industry, and if you're a professional makeup artist, or anything that you do, just be clean. I'm not saying, like, show up with, like, unbrushed teeth and, like, like be grungy, but, like... You have to be comfortable and be ready to do anything. Like when I'm there for Glam, like anything she wants me to do, I'll do it because like Harush, I'm there. I've seen you move lights. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've seen Harush move lights. I've seen Harush like get down on the floor and do things like. But that's what separates. And that it's really true. And that's what gives you those good things. But you know, it has to be a group effort. Yeah, I have to be is. in there too. I have to be in there too. Like, yeah. is this right? Is this not right? Like, what's going on? You know, it's a group effort, and you're yeah. definitely not a priss. You're not afraid no, to roll yeah. up your sleeve. She's a hard worker. Give 110% to her client because yeah. she knows it's going to benefit her in the end. And I do not hire anyone, anybody. If someone says, no, I can't do something, oh my you're God. fired. No, you're immediately. You are fired because everything is possible if you put your mind to it, and you're not too good to do anything. I'm a type of person, if there was like a stain on someone's floor, I would just clean it. Like I'm just that person. I hate people that think that they're better than other people. And if you're there to work and to make money and get somewhere in your career, do it all. And it could be the smallest thing, mm -hmm. like you even said, or getting, getting someone's costume right, and mm -hmm. it just means the world because yeah. you can't see. I can't see, and if yeah. she takes the extra time, no, okay, she's not the costume maven, but if she takes the extra time yeah. to fix it, then you're like, well, I have thread, I can I can do something. It goes such a long way. It does, it will help you out in your career. It'll make the big difference between you getting the call and someone else. Yes, even if somebody is a better makeup artist than you, let me just tell you this much, and this is on facts, on facts, <clears throat> if, even if someone's a better makeup artist than you, if they don't have a good vibe, if they gossip, if they talk too much. If you cannot trust them. If you can't trust them, if they think that they're better than, like sometimes I feel like some makeup artists think that they are. They're the star. Yeah, like it's kind of weird when I see that because it's like. But we're all in it together. It's we're a, all it in is, it together yeah. at that day. You know, we're all in it together. Like you're there to make me look good. I'm there to perform. It doesn't yeah. work without this, without each other. It is. It is. It's a synergy that it needs is. to go into with the stylist, with the hair, with the makeup, with the manager, with like the creative director. But then like sometimes, and I'm not only throwing shade at makeup artists, but sometimes like hairdressers or makeup artists, they think that like they're better than the talent sitting down. It's like, so then if you were better then you would be the talent sitting down, but okay. That's a fact. Like I get it. Everyone has their own craft, but like as Kendrick said, sit down, be humble. Like in life, no matter how big you are, the more humble you are, the more people like you. They do. I like to wear pink because if I do my own makeup, it's easy for me to go to. These two Urban Decays, I don't know the names of them. However, they work for me. We'll link the names down below. We'll link the names below. The funny thing about your lipsticks is, um, you know. I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have, for each client, I have a different kit situation. For your lipsticks, I have a giant do you thing. really? Yeah, that says Erica. I love lips. I love lip glosses. Yeah, your I, I'm lips one of are just yours that I have put to the side. Really? That's cool. That's why I, so I'm like, yeah, keep it. It's oh, yours cool. already. Oh, thank you. Like, in my head, that was thank yours you. already. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I love lips. I've always liked lip gloss. I've always liked lipstick, even as a little girl, so. Yeah. So this was a recent find of mine. What? I've been wondering what, girl? It is so hot when you wear it. What? It's Where a compression garment. Um, this 
is a compression garment? Yeah, it's a compression Where garment. Where did you get I this? Wear it as leggings. You guys, my ass looks so good in my waist. Feel this. This is amazing. Feel the waist. No, I feel it. Like it's yeah. like hardcore. This it is, is a compression garment? Yeah. I love a compression garment. Yeah. Like when you catch a lot of flights, <clears throat> you have to wear a compression garment. For me, for example, any single time I get on a flight, when I land, swell? I swell. Oh my God. All the time. Wow. It is the most annoying it thing hurts. in life because you plan all these cute outfits and when you get there, nothing fits because like you're swollen and by the time you need to go back, you swell up again. So this is called Bonafide and it's made in Russia. Of course, <laughs> of course it is. Rosen and Sarkumesi. Of course it is. My God. Yeah. The, I mean. Well, whatever. Yeah. If it works, it works. It looks pretty shady. I mean, it's, I, I, it's so cute on. You guys have no idea. Like, I know it looks crazy like this, but when you put it on, it's it's a moment. Is it a moment? It's a moment. You can wear it out. I've worn pumps it out a lot. Pumps in a tee. I or wear something? it with heels. Yeah, and, of course. Yeah, it's it's a moment. My friends. Her friends. My friend Mark Jacobs Normal. and his husband Char. They're black liner. So this is fabulous. And what I really like about it is the tip of it because it's like really lean and precise. I'm still stuck at my friends Mark Jacobs and well, his you husband. You know what? So what? Do you want to hang out with them? No. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> They're really nice you people, know, actually. They're very nice you know, people. He is a really nice person. He's, He's invited me and he put me front row, like at all his shows. He's Mark is a real visionary and I'm sure and really a nice person and doesn't have to be. Yeah. You know, it, Mark Jacobs has a really good makeup line. Mark Jacobs has a lot of good products. They really I'll do. Look. All right, what is this? It looks like a, a humidifier. It's what is this? The Molecule Air Purifier. I knew it. It was something like that. My best friend got this for me as a gift, and it works so well. This <laughs> air purifier. Come on, Vanna White. Give it to me. This is the Molecule, and it I, this is your product. You sell it. <laughs> it's really large, but it removes 99.9% .9 of impurities in the air. So almost 100%. Um, I know it's really large, but like you can hide it. Um, I don't know what this is for, but you can hold it up. I don't know, but it works. And I have an air freshener in my house that I've put on in my diff uh, another 40 favorites. And this is my air purifier. So you need an air purifier because there's a lot of shits in the air, especially if you smoke and like, I don't know, you cook and da 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 da. And it's like- And it's LA. Yeah. Or it's not LA, it's just- You live near downtown, the planet. that's all you need to know. The planet is the just- The planet, so really we need clean air. Yeah, and um, it's called Molecule, M-O-L, Molly, Molly, Molecule. <laughs> all right, I've got my last one, and yes, I buy it in the big bottle, okay? Micellar water, Garnier, yes, I love it. It takes off everything. I have sensitive eyes, my eyes always cry, they itch, I go to a doctor about chronic dry eye, blah, 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 I have light colored well, we eyes. we do makeup on you. It's, it's horrible. Yeah. But this right here takes off the makeup without irritating my eye, which is a big thing for me. It's also really well priced, so I never worry about like really soaking my cotton and just pressing it there. I never have to worry about it. I've used a lot of products, some very expensive, that left my eyes just like swollen and bloodshot. So Garnier Micellar Water works for me. That's really good. Yep. And it's like for waterproof makeup too. It is all in one waterproof and it really does take yeah. off your waterproof makeup. I can t attest to it. Because her eyes uh, water up and we have to use waterproof mascara on her. Yeah, we do. The cool thing about her rouge is that she paints really dramatically but with this feminine touch to it. And so your eyes, she always is like right in here, you know, in the spotlight. And so the eyes are a big part of her aesthetic and getting all of that makeup off can be tricky sometimes. And so this definitely helps. On that note, we are finished. No, <laughs> it's been so much fun. Didi. Dexter. <laughs> we are finished with Harusha's four zero. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And I like to leave everyone with a quote. Like we say a quote in the end for them to really think about it. <sighs> the quote of the video is, never make the mistake of assuming the person of peace is unskilled at war because it is those that know how to keep their cool that know how to lay the hammer on your head harder than anybody else. The louder the bark, the less the action 
The more calm, collected somebody can be, that means that they can hit you harder with a lot of things. I know you are going through something and I'm going through something and I've been very classy and graceful. You have been very classy and graceful. Trying. There's a lot of things that, when people try you in certain hard situations, it's really difficult to keep your mouth shut and just to like, cause you know the facts and the public knows something else. You know the truth. Other people say other things. There's rumors, there's this. I'm talking about like my personal thing too. Like where there's like, I hear so many things all the time, 24 seven. And it's like, I'm just It's gonna... hard when you hear things about yourself. Yeah. And you know that they're not true. Yeah. And you want to like defend yourself 24 seven. And you cannot. But sometimes it's like the classiest thing just to like be quiet and not say anything. But at the same time, never make the mistake of assuming the person of peace is unskilled at war. Try me. And on that note, I love Erica Jane, I aka love you. the pretty mess. I love you, Harush. This was so and much fun. Thank you fun. for coming on here. Are you kidding? <laughs> this was cute. Thank you. So cute. I had a good time. Bye, little friends. Bye, little friends. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs>